I think let's go to our final um, set of questions for today. And they're coming from Nibasumba Emil. And uh, Nibasumba is a journalist at Radio Public African uh, from Burundi. And uh, she has two questions. The first one, Burundi will not get COVID-19 vaccines for the first phase, but it is among the low income countries. Did it not ask for the vaccine? And what really happened with Burundi? So that, those are two parts to the first question. Then the second question, can you please explain the whole process for it to be decided that the vaccine against COVID-19 is sent to a country like Burundi? I think what she's saying there is, uh, please explain how the decision is made for vaccines to be sent to countries like Burundi. So the... Um very good question. I cannot address the specifics of what Burundi has done or not done. As, as you can imagine, that I, I'm not privileged to those negotiations uh, at the country level. Uh, but the process for, for COVAX is, is simple. I mean, their countries are sovereign. They engage with uh, uh, Gavi. Uh, again, COVAX is a mechanism that brings uh, WHO, Gavi, and CEPI. CEPI is the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness uh, Innovation together. So they, 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 they talk, they discuss directly with, with, with that facility in period. That is all they, they need to do. And then they, based on their level of where they are categorized as uh, low income, middle income or high income, they would have the, that, those discussions uh, going forward there. So I think that's all I can tell you with that, with that mechanism. With AVAC is the same. The African Union mechanism is that we've sent ship out all the materials that are required to countries and the, the forms have been sent to them. It's up to uh, Burundi to um, uh, go into the system and, and uh, ask for their vaccines. And what if you go into the amsp.africa, uh, you uh, actually uh, can see their locations of, I mean, and countries have access to, to that. They can see their locations of how many vaccines are located to countries using very objective criteria, population size, maybe the pandemic and uh, other factors. Uh, we did this same exercise during the diagnostics uh, when we were having the diagnostic challenges. We ordered, uh, arranged for the diagnostics, allocated them their quarters to countries and in the countries were able to go in and acquire their, their diagnostics. It's the same process uh, and mechanism for the vaccines allocation. So Burundi, in short, can go into the platform uh, they have uh, the Africa CDC platform and, and uh, uh, source for their vaccines. I don't know what they have done with, with COVAX. I'm not privileged to those in-country discussions. Mm 